we will learn about armature reaction in dc machines in this video armature reaction means the effect of magnetic field set up by armature current on the distribution of stator magnetic field or flux of the main poles of a dc machine be it generator or motor now this armature magnetic field has two effects on the main flux it demagnetizes or weakens the main flux and it cross magnetizes or distorts that means it changes the direction of the main flux the first effect leads to reduced generated voltage or emf and the second effect leads to sparking at the brushes during commutation now let us observe stator field in the absence of armature current if we assume that there is no armature current then the flux distribution is symmetrical with respect to the polar axis which is the line joining the center of north and south poles the magnetic neutral axis or plane coincides with the geometrical neutral axis it is visible in the diagram here that the flux distribution is symmetrical on top side and bottom side of this center line now what is geometrical neutral axis geometrical neutral axis is the axis that bisects the angle between the center line of adjacent poles in a two pole machines the two poles have 180 degree angle between them so this 180 degree angle is bisected by a vertical line as shown here so this is the geometrical neutral axis for this machine in four pole machines if we draw lines through the center of the two adjacent poles then it has 90 degree angle between them so line drawn at 45 degree angle bisects the center lines of the two adjacent poles so this is the geometrical neutral axis for this machine now magnetic neutral axis can be defined as axis along which no emf is produced in the armature conductors because they then move parallel to the lines of flux so over here you see that the direction of the magnetic field is from north pole to south pole that is horizontally straight so in this region the conductors move horizontally straight for a little portion here so they are moving parallel to the field so the flux linking through them is not changing so here no emf is induced that is why magnetic neutral axis is always perpendicular to the overall field direction so here the overall field the main field direction is from left to right then magnetic neutral axis is perpendicular that is vertical with the main field brushes are always placed along magnetic neutral axis we want to collect the current from the conductors of armature so we place the brushes at magnetic neutral axis hence magnetic neutral axis is also called as axis of commutation because reversal of current in armature conductor takes place at this point across this axis if suppose say for example current here is negative or going inward then now the conductor when it crosses across the neutral axis it will change the direction of current because here as it was under the influence of north pole now here it is under the influence of south pole so that is why the direction of current on one side of magnetic neutral axis and other side are always opposite so we can say that current reversal takes place along the magnetic neutral axis because here the current will be zero on this side it is negative and on this side it is positive this is also a uh, case of a four pole machine here you can see that the magnetic neutral axis is in between the north and south poles and so the brushes are placed along this axis to collect the current now the field set up by the armature conductors alone when carrying current the field coils being unexcited so this shows the flux distribution we are assuming here that there is no stator field or main field and the direction of the armature current is the same as it would actually be when the generator is loaded now this can be found using fleming's right hand rule as shown here and the flux distribution can be found using right hand thumb rule so here the currents are coming outward from the 
plane of the diagram and here the currents are going inside so as per the right hand thumb rule the flux direction would be as shown here so this is just the armature flux or field now the current flow going inside the plane is represented by cross and flow coming out of the plane is represented by dot when we are viewing the conductor cross sections the current direction is going inside the plane of diagram in conductors under the influence of north pole or conductors which are near the north pole and the direction of the current is coming out of the plane for the conductors which are under south pole if we observe both the fields simultaneously this is the stator field and this is the armature field then if we observe then we can conclude or we can predict what would happen if both these fields exist simultaneously and under actual load conditions these two fields exist simultaneously so if you see the main field direction is from left to right and the armature field direction is as shown here in the arrow so at the top corner of the north pole it is from left to right and at the bottom corner of the north pole it is from right to left and in bottom corner of the south pole it is from left to right and at the top corner of the south pole it is from right to left now if you observe then at the top north corner the magnetic field of armature is in the same direction as of the stator field so they help each other or the magnetic field becomes more strong and at the bottom corner of the north pole the magnetic fields of stator and armature are in the opposite direction so armature field try to reduce the magnetic field at that point in the same way at the bottom corner of the south pole the magnetic fields are in the same direction but at the top corner of the south pole the magnetic fields are opposing each other so what will happen magnetic field over this point will increase the field strength over this point will increase and at this point it will decrease in the same way here magnetic field strength will decrease and here magnetic field strength will increase now this is the flux distribution when both the fields exist simultaneously we can see that the flux through the armature is no longer uniform and symmetrical about the pole axis but it has been distorted across the pole axis now the pole tip which first meets during the rotation if the armature is rotating in the clockwise direction then the conductors meets this pole of the south pole this tip of the south pole first now this tip is called the leading pole tip and the second one is called the trailing pole tip in the same way this is the leading north pole tip and this is the trailing north pole tip now the flux is seen to be crowded at the trailing pole tips and weakened or thinned out at the leading pole tips if you see the leading pole tips then the flux is weakened and at the trailing pole tips the flux lines are crowded that means the field is stronger here and the field is weaker here as we saw earlier now the strengthening and weakening of flux is separately shown for a four pole machine flux is seen to be strong at the trailing pole tips but weak at the leading pole tips the strength and weakness is indicated by crowded flux lines and flux lines uh, spread out now as seen the air gap flux density under one half part of pole is greater than the other half part of the pole so half portion of the pole has strong magnetic field and this half of the pole has weak magnetic field now the resultant mmf of now this is the armature field vector and this is the main field vector so if you want to find out the resultant field then we need to have vector sum of of and ofa so the new position of mna which is always perpendicular to the resultant mmf vector of is as indicated in this diagram now with the shift of magnetic neutral axis through angle theta for example brushes also need to be shifted by angle theta so as to lie along the new position of magnetic neutral axis so now earlier the brushes which were placed over here now need to be placed on this axis due to this brush shift or forward lead 
the armature conductor and hence the armature current is also now redistributed as you can see this conductor now has a cross or going inward current and this conductor now has a coming outside current so these are the main effects of armature reaction it cross magnetizes that is it changes the direction of the main field and it demagnetizes it weakens the main field to overcome cross magnetizing effects of armature reaction compensation windings and interpoles are used to overcome demagnetizing effects of armature reaction we simply increase the main field strength so this was all about armature reaction thank you for watching this video